Hamas to watch for security for the Olympic? Good luck with that. <laughs> Why in France there is no more police? <laughs> I mean, those, you know, Western people, they are astonishing with their stupidity. Like nobody can beat the stupidity of Western people. Sadly, I have to say that. Oh boy. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, today our topic actually, uh, I listed my YouTube under education. Why? We are not educating people. We are making them excited now. With such a picture, we should put this uh, under Android Tits uh, sections. That will make it fit better, you know? Download it from between Android Tits uh, section and uh, this uh, topic now that uh, the women here they have uh, you know see see through all the way uh, so anyway like you know uh, a Muslim actually he contacted me he's a nice guy by the way he's uh, he said he said he is very upset for me but he is not a violent person I said good for you because you are violent or not Trust me, <laughs> you are violent. That will not work with me. He said, "No, no, no. I don't mean anything bad, but uh, I like I'm I'm the kind of a person who listen. But you gave me headache inside my house, and my wife she is uh, she left Islam, but I will get her back, you know, to Islam, and I will show everybody that you are a liar. Again, I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying you you said in your life." that you don't call people names, you describe them. So I'm describing you. I said, okay. He said, all those things you showed about, uh, he said that his wife, uh, she got so upset when she saw those pictures. Uh, what kind of, she is saying, what kind of God, he promised my husband such, uh, you know, uh, pictures uh, in heaven. And like, what is that? You know, this is X-rated X-ray. <laughs> So he said, first of all, this is the Eve hadith. I said, really? He said, yeah, I'm very sure it's the Eve. So he said to me, actually, he challenged me to show him the reference from authentic book. And you know, it would it take, it take two seconds to show him from Al-Bukhari. Then he said, Al-Bukhari, who said that Al-Bukhari is authentic? Al-Bukhari is a big fat lie. So I told him, uh, you told me, show me authentic hadith. So can you give me the book name, the name of the book which you trust? Uh, he said his, his wife, she was next to him. She said he is lying. He is the one is lying now. Always he tell me that Al-Bukhari is the only correct book. <laughs> his wife got him busted. <laughs> you should see the conversation. <laughs> he said, no, no, no. Yes, Al-Bukhari is a correct book, but there is some print of Al-Bukhari, the adding things is not there. <laughs> anyway, so this uh, this Abdul, uh, you know, uh, he is uh, like, he's very smart. Uh, and he come to the conclusion, he didn't, uh, did not agree with me. He said, you are a liar. And I showed him Al-Bukhari in front of his eyes. He said, Al-Bukhari is a liar like you. <laughs> I said, okay, I can show you more reference. He said, all of them, they are liar like you. <laughs> I said, well, you know what? You are going to show your wife that those are lies. Yet you cannot give us one book is a true book which you can trust. Can you name a book? He said, all of them, they lie, all of them. He said, so how you know as a Muslim which book is telling the truth and which book is not telling the truth? He said, any, any hadith does not make sense. There is no way the prophet, he said that. And then his wife, she said to him, all day long you say to me nonsense stuff. <laughs> his wife is really something. <laughs> He said to me, she is joking, she is joking. I said, I can't tell. <laughs> and I think he's listening right now. Anyway, 
And again, you know, I promised them not to record conversation or anything to keep it private. But as long as nobody knows who they are, still it's private because we did not mention who you are. Anyway, so, uh, you know, when Muhammad promised his men that they will have, uh, you know, they will have uh, this uh, kind of a beauty, which is really amazing, you know. For me, uh, first time I saw this, I said, this is, must be from God. I mean, only God can come with such a beauty. Look at this. This is your wife in heaven. She is sitting like, and look at the high heels. Look at her fingers. Uh, you can see everything. This is so beautiful. And uh, then the one who say to us, Islam makes sense. Uh, what makes sense about Islam? They say monotheism. I mean, uh, this is one of the stupid things ever I hear always. If you worship one God or thank God, who care? The question is, is your God is real or not? If somebody worship a billion God and they are exist, then he's right. If somebody worship zero God and there is zero God, then he's right. So the number doesn't make any difference. You are just an idiot. Same time, those who worship Satan, they are monotheist. Yeah. Right? Christians, in my belief as a Christian, we are monotheist. The Trinity is not many gods, it's one God. However, believing in one God does not make you a correct person or somebody have a true belief. So who is a Mohammedan can join us and prove to us that Islam is a true belief and it's not a stupid belief made by, by an idiot for the idiots. Anyone? Do we have any Muslim would like to do so? I want to share those images with people in Discord so they can enjoy the beauty. And if you are a person, if you are a Muslim, please, and you are here in the chat, please don't touch yourself. Have patient, all right? You will get them in heaven. Don't get so excited from now. I know you Muslims. Your prophet, he was walking outside, who saw a woman walking by, he started touching himself. Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan want to prove us that Islam is not a stupid cult? Who is a Muslim? Would like to join us? Maybe I should take those pictures. They are touching themselves. How they can touch the microphone right now? You cannot touch two things at the same time. Are you Muslim and multitask like Prophet Muhammad? He had sex with all his wives at the same time. How he can do that? How many penises he have? Anyway, Prophet Muhammad have special features. This is why his mother took her four years to deliver him. Because Allah keep adding antennas, penises, balls. And then after all of this, boom, boom, he could not even make a baby. He was shooting blank. Or maybe he was putting it in the wrong hole. Excuse me. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Yeah, you know, the, the Sunni, they have many hadith, uh, you know, sexual hadith. The Shia, they have the same. Like the Shia, they say, if you look at your wife, private part, when she, you are having sex with her, if you look, your son will become blind. If you talk, your son will be mute. Uh, if you want to have a, a, a boy, uh, if you are like having sex with your wife and she is giving birth to girls, uh, you need to spank your wife when you are, you know, <clears throat> and you, you spank her hard and you say, Yeah, Ali! You know, like, Yeah, Ali! <laughs> oh boy. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? May they, may they. Anyone? If Muhammad cannot have a children who is Fatima, Fatima is not his daughter. Fatima is the daughter of Khadija from her previous marriage. Khadija, she have two husbands before Muhammad. Can you explain to me, uh, okay, how how Khadija, she can give even birth 
She's way older than Muhammad. That's why she died long before Muhammad. Right? Because she's very old. And a woman in her age, you know, she will not be able to have babies anyway. So those children, Fatima, when Muhammad he married uh, Khadija, if we can call it marriage, she was very young. And she is, uh, maybe, uh, maybe she was 10, you know, something like that. Or 11, I'm not sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, Muhammad, he married her, father, her, her mother, so she called him that, you know. So she grew in the house that he is the father. Otherwise, all reference prove that Muhammad cannot have children. Even the Quran, even the Quran says clearly that Muhammad cannot have babies. Right? The Quran mentioned more than once that Muhammad was not the father of any of your men. Why? Because you cannot have. What about the girls? The same. And even the Quran mentioned that uh, the Arab, they always make fun of Muhammad because he is cut off. The Muslim, they try to make it look like, okay, cut off does not mean they are making fun of his penis. Uh, they are saying that he cut off, that's mean he don't have a children's. Well, how he can have a children? The same, cut off. So if you go to chapter 108, you will see here, it says clearly that the Arab they made it so clear that Muhammad have no offspring. And the Muslim, they tried to fix it in the translation. Look at this translation here. This is Hilali and Khan. Change the translator. Let us see. Uh, let us choose anyone. Uh, let us say uh, Biktal, Muhammad Biktal. Huh. See? They don't have children. See it? So they accuse him that he is cut off, but in fact, they don't mean only cut off, he don't have a children. They are saying to him, they are, you know, trash people like, like him. They are saying to him, you don't have a penis. You are not a man in other way. Uh, look at the translation here. Funny translation. The same book, tons of different translation. No. Everyone have different translation. What is this? <laughs> the same, the same book. We are not translating different book. Everyone have different, different, totally different translation because, uh, uh, you know, look. Cut off from future hope. What does that mean? What, what, what does chapter mean? If we read this chapter like this, what does that mean? Now, how in the world this is a chapter? Three lines? And what this uh, found? What the found Allah he gave to Muhammad? So all the translation you see here in English is just a joke. If we go to the interpretation, let us see, 108. We go to the book of Asbab al nuzul which means the reason for the verses to come down. It's so clear here that this is about people saying to him that you don't have a children. And look, you know, here they fabricate, they say that Muhammad, he lost his son from Khadija. Lost? Muhammad, he have a son from Khadija? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? As you see, I'm trying to make a different timing so people from other countries, they can join us, not only people in Europe. Uh, like now, it's good for people who they are in Asia. How is people in Asia doing? I hope you are doing orang orang good. All right. Why well, you are laughing? I speak very good Indonesian language. I just forgot no. some words only. Yes, uh, my friend, go ahead. Yeah, can I can I can I ask you something on the Quran? I'm Christian, by the way. You are what? I'm a Christian. Can I ask you something from uh, the Quran? Sure, sure. Yeah, so can you go to Surah 1929? Uh, what do you think about Muhammad? I don't really like him. He's a pedophile. Okay. 19? Most of you it. Said chapter 19, you said? 29, 29. 19, 29? No, no, just uh, Surah 29. Ah, chat, the Ankabut. The Ankabut. Okay, and verse? Yes. Um, verse verse 46. All right, what about it? Yeah, so here uh, I'm just uh, want, I'm just wondering. Allah says that your God and my God is one, and you should say that to the people of the scripture, Ahlul Kitab. Oh. So is this a good argument to show them that like that that's that's very a uh, very stupid verse if Allah knows everything and that we don't have the same God as him. Well, first they will say to you, this first this verse is abrogated, you know, uh -huh. uh, because data chapter nine verse twenty nine says, "Kill them, like you know, fight those who don't believe in Allah." So here, don't argue with them and don't debate with them, uh, you know. Uh, and then, uh, you know, when uh, when you meet the one who they are not nice of them, you say to them, uh, "Say we believe in what came to us and came to you," and here you see. Uh, how stupid it is because uh, the whole idea the Christians are arguing with the Muslims that we don't believe that the God of Muhammad is our God and we don't believe that they share with us anything so how you say that our God and your God is the same and how you believe in what is coming to you anyway but this is a chain of contradiction like the same as when Muhammad he can confirm that the Bible we have between our hands is true so if you believe yeah, in what between so yeah if you believe in what between our hands that means you believe what the bible says and the bible is clearly saying that jesus is god and he is a son of god and he was crucified you know resurrected uh he is in heaven uh, uh father son holy spirit so how you believe in what we have we possess in our hand right now and then it say you say to us you know, that the one who believed that Jesus is God is a kafir. It's just a stupid religion. No, nothing makes sense there. However, there's no yeah, and, there's no argument with Muslims are a good argument because Muslims are sneaky, which mean uh, even if you show it to them in the front of their face, like now, you show them this verse says that confirming what is with them. Isn't it, more, isn't it so clear? It's so clear. Yeah. Okay. They will I mean, say to you, yeah. They will say to you, no, confirming some of what is with them. <laughs> Abdul, where, where is the word some? Do you see some? It says confirming what is with them, which means whatever is yeah. with them. That doesn't even name the book. Anything with them is confirming it. So it's not one book, not two books, any book. Still, the Muslims, because Muslims are sneaky liars, so they will not. So if you are expecting uh, a Muslim to agree with you because... You have a good point. That's not what make a Muslim agree. What make Muslim agree, if he is de if he is decent, or he is a sneaky, a decent Muslim already he is an ex-Muslim. Yeah, you're right. Even if he did not announce yet that he is out of Islam, but I say to you, a decent Muslim, which means a person you show him, it's in front of him, it says that he will not deny it, and that is a decent one. He's already is ex-Muslim. Because he, after you show him this, obviously this is a contradiction. How the same book says 
that those who believe that the Messiah is Allah is kuffar and then the same book says I believe in the book with you confirming what is with not only actually you speak Arabic I can't tell it says musaddiqun right so yeah, yeah which mean I believe in not, mean... all, not only confirming confirming is not a correct translation believing in yeah. what you have in your hands you know and uh, there's other verses says between their hand between his hands you know they need they hear. yeah so if the Muslim is going to be uh, decent which is rear then he have to admit that this is th this is this is garbage because the Quran then the Quran itself itself says if this is a book made by other than Allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction so there is no way the same book yeah the same uh, uh, the same book says that this is uh, 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 the Christians are are you know like kuffar, and the same book says the Christians are fine and we believe in their book, and what they have now this is remember, this is six hundred years after Jesus. All the Muslims they attack always Paul, and when you ask like where is this attack coming from, you will find that this is something new. So, like even in the books, like even in the era of Ibn Kathir, they never spoke negative about Paul. But this is a new new era that Muslims they try to find who is going to blame, who is the one we can insult. We they cannot insult Isa, you know, because supposed he is a prophet in the religion. Uh, we cannot insult insult the disciple of you know because supposed the others are, you know, spoke about them good in the Quran. So the one is not in the Quran supposed to according to them is Paul. But in fact, chapter 36, verse 14, uh, the, all the interpretation mentioned that Paul is one of the three mighty messengers sent by Jesus. But yeah, a stupid religion. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And another thing, just um, in uh, chapter 11, Najm, I think, was 43. It talks about, you know, the three daughters of Allah. But that yeah. in itself is stupid because uh, that means that that egg is actually proving that uh, Allah is a pagan deity. And even if you look at the tafsir, am, am I right? Yeah, well, all of them. You know, we know that Muhammad, he prayed to the three, uh, uh, to the three yeah, daughters of Allah, words. right? Uh, yeah. all, all the Quran, you know, I don't know if you know that Muhammad was called Abu Kapsha. Abu Kapsha. You do not know that? I did not know that. Uh, the father of... Uh, what does that word mean? <laughs> yeah, Muhammad is very well known uh, by Abu Kapsha. Uh, Muhammad and his family, they are pagan. And uh, like if you... If you go in the Quran, let me show you something here. Chapter 53 in Najm, the one you mentioned, verse number yeah. 49. It says, Allah is the Lord of Sirius. Uh -huh. What is that? Well, it says there in front of you, this is the star, Ashara, is a star which the Arab worship. Oh. Well, do you, need, oh, yeah. do you need more proof that Allah is a pagan god? He is the Lord of Ashara, the same as the, uh, the, the moon god. So he has many titles. He is Rabbi Ashara. Isn't the Sabian who worship the stars? The Sabian, they believe the stars are kind of gods, you know? Like there's... A, yeah. There's ranks of gods. There is like... A, 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 there's a creators, there's makers, there is care, like uh, the, uh, the one who take care. So Sabian, they have... They are a very ancient religion. And obviously, Muhammad is under the influence of the same... The same as all Arab. In fact, even the Arab uh, Muhammad in the Hadith was called Sabian. In the Hadith? Yeah, yeah, in the Hadith, you know, a Sabi. <laughs> if you go to the Hadith. I didn't know that. 
Wait, if you go to the hadith and type asabi where a woman she was looking uh let us see uh, what the hadith says let me try to remember. Uh, Let's see how uh, here you see, yeah, he was called Sabi many times. Uh, so you, I will see. find it. Yes, yeah, Sabi. Here we go. It's in the front of us. She said. Uh, here, here, right. He said, "Is that the one who was called Sabi?" And then who is called Sabi? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and then there is, uh, uh, you know, like when this uh, there's a woman, she uh, she found water here. They ask her, you want to uh, come with us and meet the prophet? She said, who is this prophet? Uh, is that the one who's called Sabi? They said, yes, they agreed, you know. Yeah. Interesting. Good, yeah. I'll add that to my notes. Yeah. But here, chapter 53, verse number 49, confirm that Allah is the Lord of Ceres. And this is the same as all like pagan, even Greek, uh, old religion. Uh, every god, he is a lord of uh, some star, you know. In fact, yeah. in fact, the Muslim, they believe in the same many, many uh, uh, Greek uh, legions. As an example, when, when Muhammad, he mentioned that there is seven earth and there is seven skies. What is the seven earth? Yeah, that's a strange thing to say if your book has miracles, scientific yeah, no, ones. If you go check the, the, the Greek legion, you will see that those are seven planets and Muhammad is talking about them. The same, that God created seven planets and there is seven skies, you know. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so like there is seven, there is seven sky, and there is seven earth. That's that, that's shocking. That's very stupid, and people yeah. still believe that. Yeah, always you have you know when you want to study the garbage of Muhammad, you have in order to get the, to get the picture, you have to connect the dots together, uh, and then you can yeah. get a better image. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, CP. May you're God bless you. You're welcome. All right. Do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, let us put those pictures back. Does, you know, this picture make me feel relaxed. I will tell you, explain to you why. I'm not, I'm single. So when I see those pictures, I feel like I'm not going to get married ever. Like sometimes you get tempted, you say, man, I need to get married. But you look at this picture, you say to yourself, you know what, I'm missing nothing. I don't want to see this. I don't want to even see women around me. Heck no. Yeah, so like it makes me relax. Like, you know, I, I can wait for a coming century without getting married now. Oof, man. Like, you know, some women, they look beautiful, but when you look at this, now you know what we, now we are talking. This is what you this is what you are going to get. Don't look at what you see in the street, women dressing nice, putting makeup. This is what you will get. I mean look at this. You know? Zombies. And they wonder why men are scared of women. Do we have any Muhammadan? So this is what your God came with? This is the best way we get in heaven? Muslim, don't you think this is too much beautiful? Why Allah is tempting us like that? Seriously, I mean, why Allah is tempting us with such a beauty? Look at this, look at this position. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah, for such a sexy thing. Is that her poop? Do you see the light? There's some some light uh, uh, color. It's not the bones, obviously. It must be the poop. I don't know if you see it. So imagine you are now like you are looking at your wife 
and you are enjoying her, her poop. You say, honey, I see your poop. And then now we know why they say that women are poopy trap. Poopy trap, like, you know. Hey, this is the this is what Allah and Allah will take him one thousand years to make those women each. Like, do you don't you think that his uh, production is uh, uh, so fast like Joe Biden? I mean, Joe Biden he can take the airplane like he can uh, take the stairs in five minutes. Allah will take him one thousand years to make every woman skin only smooth. Why she is a gladi? There's no skin with skin. You are not looking, you are a liar. I bet you, you made a print, you know. <clears throat> and those who they are married now, they will seek divorce, you know. They will look at this and look at their wife. For sure, this will win. Say, <laughs> tell your wife, come, 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 see him, beauty. This is the beauty. This is what Allah promises in heaven. Who is going to look at his wife after these days? I mean, look at this. Look at those beautiful high heels, you know, like this is so beautiful, man. Look at the fingers. And they say to you, Islam is not a religion. He, uh, Dr. Malik want to join us. I think Malik, he liked those pictures. What do you think, Malik, about those beautiful pictures which Allah, he promised you to have in heaven? Are you there, Malik? Malik, don't touch yourself. What are you doing? Shame on you. What are you doing, man? Why well, you can't speak, you can. But you have to touch. Stop touching yourself. Touch the microphone. Push and talk. You are not talking. Okay, go fix your microphone and come back. Okay, try now. Oh, well, you know, <clears throat> I think Malik, he was watching some bad movies after this and now he is his microphone is not do we have any Muhammad would like to join us and tell us why Allah he promised you such a beautiful woman first of all this is not fair we want to have women like those two who is a Muslim can call us and tell us how we can get such a beautiful woman Anyone? Any Muhammadan? I want to get like 50, 100. Hello? Hey Malik, how are you? Hey. So what do you think I'm about? Good, good. What do you think about? You? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm very hot now. So what do you think about those pictures? Allah, he promised you women like this. I don't know, but... You make a false claim about uh, the three daughters. I made false claim about what? About the three daughters of God. We can go there. Let us finish here. And I promise you. Did, I you, will read, go there. did you read 53 uh, 22? No problem. We will go there. But what do you think about those women now? About which women? Uh, I don't. Uh... Your God, he promised you women, you will see the marrow of their bones in heaven. Yes. That, Can that, you imagine that or not? So is that beautiful for you? Yes, very beautiful. Uh, tell me, what is the most beautiful I love part? Women. What is the most beautiful part in this picture for you? Uh, everything. Like the high what? heels. Like what? The high heels. The high heels? Yes. I talked I told you about the women. You told me the high heels. Are you going to have sex with the shoes? Are you like a fetish person? Those you know like uh, shoe, shoes? Are you going to lick your shoes? Yes. Yes, also. What also? 
Yeah, in heaven you can do everything. You I want. know, I know. In heaven you can do everything. She can put the high heels in your anus too, correct? Uh, we yeah, we're gonna see. Oh, okay, yeah, well, good for you. You see, this is like ten yeah. inch will go inside you. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's, what's going on. Uh, what's wrong with what's wrong? But what's wrong with having uh, sex with seventy two women in paradise? First of all, there is guarantee they are women. I don't know. Uh, you said seventy two women. Well, this is what you Muslims say is, but does it say women? It says whore. But what's wrong with that? Zakir Naik, I know Zakir people. Naik. I know. I, I know. Listen, Zakir. listen. I know people here uh -huh. in their life. Uh -huh. In their life, they they lived maybe uh, seventy years, and they had maybe twenty, thirty wives in their life. So, how? Uh, why is it not possible to have seventy two uh, women in paradise where you live forever? What's well, wrong with that? First of all, I mean. Uh, 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 what, those there is not, no end those, in paradise. Those you also not, believe. Hold on, hold on. Do you believe in paradise okay, that us, there is no let, end? Let us take. Uh, you, you mentioned there is no end. Is it true that your prophet he promised you that you would have a penis have no end? Not that what I have. Your a prophet penis? he promised you that your penis will be endless. Yeah, if I if I'm gonna live forever, uh, that's. Uh, ah, that's, uh, no, I what know I the want. connection, guys. <laughs> The connection is yes. he will live forever, so be, his penis will would be, be endless. It, it would be it would be a very great punishment of Allah if He uh, didn't let me uh, uh, w uh, work my penis. Come on, no, man. no, this is not about work your penis. Your penis will be what? endless as a size. So your wife now this this is your wife in heaven, the the jellyfish, yes. and now you want to have sex with her, but your penis is in different galaxies. You know what? How you can you have sex with her? You know what the problem is. You know what the, you know what what the, the problem, problem is. How you can how you can have sex with her if your penis is endless? You know you know you know what the problem is. What? The problem is that Allah gave us some 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 things to uh -huh. uh, to know, to uh, have a just a, a couple of uh, things. What uh, uh, the paradise uh, is, uh -huh. and we people gonna describe directly how it is in in, in uh, how we live in this uh, and that is the problem uh, no, no, Allah no, no, says no, no. Listen, listen. I'm not talking wait, about wait, problem wait, now Allah. I'm not talking about problem Allah. I'm saying I'm asking you wait, your penis your, Allah, listen wait. listen your penis is endless your wife where your wife would be located if your penis is endless look this listen. is your prophet you if see Allah, the, do you see Allah, the do you see the red says, do you see the, do you see the red your prophet he says that every one of you, his penis will be endless, and his wife, her vagina, will be like that. So how wide your wife will be? Endless too, because the vagina, her vagina, will be, look, the translation is false, is false here. His penis will be like an endless palm tree, and the vagina will be large fit for that. So explain to me, your, your penis now is endless. And yes. go, is going to go, excuse me guys, if you have kids, just mute your microphone or I mean your speaker or leave or kick them out or what speaker, headphone, whatever. So, yes. and now you are going to have sex with your wife. So now, yeah. if your penis is, let us say you put it in, uh -huh, it's going to come out when? From where? Yeah, but listen, I'm gonna say to you, what? do you know? Uh, do you do you know how it is? Uh, how it is in paradise? I'm I'm talking about your penis now. Forget about the paradise now. Yes. What you put it in? Your penis will get out where? It's endless. You know how big? You know how big uh, Adam uh, alayhi salam was, or not? My friend, uh, Adam alayhi salam is not even in the size of your semen. What are you talking about? Adam, according to your prophet, is 30 meters tall. But according to yes. here, your penis, much, is, but, your penis is billions of meters. What, you know, Adam, he cannot even be like an, an ant next to your penis. What are you talking about? So now I'm asking you, you put your penis in the, this woman's private part. What will happen next? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. What do you want to see? You cannot see it. It's endless. We're going to experience it. Oh, you're going to experience. 
Yes. <laughs> what if your penis, yeah, listen, listen, what if your penis had dropped in the Amazon River in Brazil? Do you know those fish? They saw them in the movie, they eat anything like, like spaghetti? Yeah, pi pi uh, piranhas. Piranhas. Yes, yes. What if your penis had dropped in yeah. that river, man? And piranhas, they eat start yummy, yummy. What will happen to you? What then if, you're going to be what uh, if your, shish kebab. Will be shish kebab. Then, <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be shish kebab. See, Malik is looking at his God. That's a good sign. He is looking at no, the religion. No, no, no. Yeah, you are looking at the no, religion. No, never. No, you are looking no, at no. the religion. Okay, so. I'm going to. I left about shish kebab. Who is as long? So, do you agree with me that your penis in heaven, do you agree with Muhammad or he's lying? That your penis will be. We're gonna endless. go to the three dot. We're gonna go to the three daughters or not? We will go. So, uh, uh, do you agree that your prophet, when he said, your penis will be endless? Do you agree that this is true? I don't know. Where uh, did you get it from? I just showed you. What's wrong with you? Yeah. What did you show? You showed me a text. <laughs> yeah, a text. Your prophet says, "Should I bring you your prophet too?" Show me the text from where. Give me. Send me the link. Here we go. This is the link. Here we go. Here we go. This is, the... is, it, is it a hadith? Yeah, it's is a it hadith. A... Yeah, it's a hadith. Okay. Read it. In paradise, if one, each one of you will be given endless palm tree penis, like a palm tree, straight up and endless, and the vagina will be fit for that. Book of marriage. Okay. Uh, this is the book of marriage. <laughs> yeah, the book of marriage. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. This is marriage now? <laughs> That's what I read, the book of marriage. Uh, I know, I know. Well, it says the book of marriage. It says the book of nikah, my friend. It says the book of nikah. Uh, nikah. It's, uh, to F, I translate it to English. It no, says book of marriage. no, nikah mean F. Here we go. Read the interpretation right over here. Nikah mean that the, the branches the of problem, the tree is the problem of translations no uh, yeah they, they lie to you the branches of the tree going inside each other that is nikah it's a physical effing one of you will be given a piece this is? The size of a palm tree and uh -huh. a vagina that will be enough for that uh -huh. yeah. so what's wrong with that what's wrong with that all right so now do you agree that, that your means, penis. That means we're gonna friend, eat, why you don't we, give me the answer? We, we, do you agree we, that your you know do you agree that your penis you know would be going? Do you agree that your penis would be so big, endless? It's not endless. That's not true. No, it says endless there. It says in the front of you, "Anakhla sahuk, sahuk." You know what sahuk mean? One of you will be given in paradise a penis the size of a palm tree and a vagina no, no, no. it doesn't say no it doesn't say palm tree it doesn't say it doesn't say palm tree it says nakhla sahuk sahuk mean endless endless oh, that's uh, <laughs> i don't know <laughs> okay i read it so do you the, agree, the do you agree with that do you agree with that with what your penis will be endless so big yeah, I don't know uh, who I must uh, trust, you or the translation. Well, you can go right now and you can take this uh, word to any Arabic dictionary and check it out. Sahih, yes. Sahu, uh, it's, uh, it's English. You can do that. Yeah. Can you call? I'm gonna show. It, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it tomorrow to uh, someone uh, who knows uh, uh. the Hadith uh, scholar. Ah, uh, okay. So do you believe really that your, your penis will be so big and so like uh, endless? Yeah, but we also believe that we, if we are in heaven, that we uh, we will be a very uh, big, uh, yeah, creatures. Ah, okay, but not uh, like uh, one meter eighty or uh, seventy right. or ninety. So who is going to be bigger, you or your penis or Allah? Have have some respect. I don't respect. Why not? But can you I'm can you, uh, you read who, for us? Who is, one, can, who is the one? Your who is the one? I'm serious. The, how is who is the, who the, is the one who is more big? Your penis or Allah? 
Are you afraid to uh, to go to the, the well, you don't uh, want to change topic now? Speed. Are you afraid to talk about the yeah. size of your penis? Yeah, but it's uh, a silly uh, silly question. I'm no, not, this, uh, for me it's very uh, very important. Who is bigger? It's a silly question. Who is bigger, you, your penis, or Allah? I really want to ask. I really want. Uh, I really want to know if you want to know the truth. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Or not. So can you answer me who is going to be bigger, your penis or Allah? Do you want to know the truth or not? I'm asking who is bigger. This English. Is Allah English? Do you want to know the objective truth or not? What is the objective truth? Yes, ask yourself what the what is the object what what means uh, ob objective uh, truth? Huh? You guys, he said to me, do you want the objective truth? I said, what the objective? He yeah. says, ask. <laughs> so listen, yeah. do you, do who, you is, going, who do you is going want to it? be bigger, your penis or Allah? Allah is the most, uh, most high, so he's the, he's the big boss. But okay, okay, so, guys, he is the big boss. So your penis is a small oh. boss, okay. But you Muslims, but you, what, your, your prophet, he says, English. So, if if the penis is in this, and Allah, according to you, is the big boss, is that because he's big, bigger than the penis, or because he is in control of the penis? You know what it says uh, uh, under the hadith? Uh huh. It says uh -huh. he's saying uh -huh. it includes means it in entails it means what, what it means by it it's not the opposite of matching it it mean what and it's own a shop of benefit not okay it mean what uh i don't know i don't know if this hadith is uh yeah, abdul abdul what are you reading yeah, abdul, let us laugh together what what you what you just said what what you, you... uh i just read uh, uh -huh. it's a big text or not uh, big, big text, uh, size matter. Yes. The penis is big. The text is going to be big too, but I don't see what it says. What are you talking about? Are we going to go to the three daughters or not? Okay. If we go to the three daughters, are you going to answer me about the size of Allah and the size of your penis? Which one is bigger? If I, if I know, if I know the answer, yes. You do not know. So you think Allah is smaller than your penis? Okay. Now we go to the three daughters. Go ahead. What about the three daughters? Can you go to 53, uh, 22? But you will not be sorry now? For what? You will not say, I want to change topic, let's go back to the penis? No, no, no. Why? Okay. Chapter 53, what verse you want? 22. Are you sure? Yes. Read it. 21, 22, 23. Okay, read it. <clears throat> Do you read? Uh, uh, you read is better. I don't know how to read. I'm a little for your, bit like Muhammad. For, for your uh, uh, audience, I don't know how to read. Go ahead. Do you prefer to have sons while you attri attribute uh, to him daughters? Uh huh. Then this is truly a biased distribution. Uh, distribution. Uh -huh. These idols. These idols. Uh huh. Are mere names that you and your forefathers have made up. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm. Show show it to the screen, please. Where it says the word idols. That is what I read. You are stupid, like your prophet. Where it says the word idol. Inna hiya illa shayun. A shayun. Here it says shayun. Is that the Arabia Mursi? Hey, that. What? The Arabia. <laughs> the Arabia. Let's see when I see This is Arabic now? You are reading Arabic for me? <laughs> no, no, no. What? No, 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 no. A second ago, I heard you saying but, something in Arabic. In here, show us the translation. Show us the translation. In here, illa on Where is the word idol? What? 
What is the word idol? You see, Muslims here are adding idols. Like here it says idol. Where is the idols? Where it says in the verse that those are idols. Okay. And how do you interpret this text? Oh, but guys, guys, he is the one who says to me, you did lie about this verse. I just, I just read. He challenged me to come wait, here. Okay, and he wait, is asking wait, wait. me now to give him interpretation. Wait. You give me interpretation. Hold gonna, on. I'm, where is, the word, you, where gonna... is the word idol? The English. Yeah, wait. <laughs> the English. Wait. The English. Yeah, mercy. <laughs> All right. So listen, why you Muslim lie? Where in the Quran it says that those okay. are idols? Where it says that those are idols? Oh, what Allah is saying. Go to the... Oh, what Allah is saying. Uh, oh, what Allah is saying here, supposedly. I sent the link. I those send the are link. names you gave it to his daughters. He did not say I them. sent the link. I sent the link. What link? Go to it. I sent the link on the in the chat. Okay. That is what I read. Oh, uh, you are reading from that link? Yes. You are a linky guy. Like you. I, right. I learned, I learned okay. it from you. Okay, so I will open for you the same translation, Khattab. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the translation you, you gave but me. This is, but this is what I read I know, I on know. the translation. I know, but the Khattab is a, is a joker. Here we go. We, we switch, no problem. Just to make you happy. All right. So now, this is Khattab. Khattab is a liar. Where is the word idol in the verse? What does he uh, use? He is what using kind of, the word uh, idols. The them? idols. He said the idols. If you Muslim don't fabricate your book, you tell me why he is saying the idols. Where is the yes, word he's idols? Say, he's where idols. is the, where is the idols? Where is the word idols in the Quran? I don't know. I just read the. You don't know. I ask yes, you about the size of your penis and Allah who is bigger. You do not know. What do you know? And now you ask me to go here to get me busted. And now you are saying to me, you do not know. And now you are in trouble. So Allah never said those are idols. Allah did okay, not. Okay, you can listen, listen, what, listen. listen. Or listen. what Allah said. You look, can, look you how can funny. throw look. that word. Okay, why Allah? You can throw that word. You hold don't. On, hold on, hold wait, on. Wait, wait. Why Allah, wait, is abs you... why Allah is upset? Because they gave him daughters and they have sons. Why is he upset? Those. Read it without idols. No problem. This you is, can read it without idols. First of all, there is no word consider. It says you can read it without idols. It says, "Don't you see? Don't you see? Do you see?" Okay. But okay. Okay. So you now can throw I want to ask you. you okay, I want to ask you. Can the Arab see Allah al Uzza? I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a, a scholar in Arabic language. Potato, you are the one but, who challenged me and you insist to come here. And I said to you, are you sure? But I'm, I was trying to help you not to says, come here. So look what happened now. The Quran says, listen, have the, you the, seen Allah al uzza That means they are real. Are they fake or real? But the translation says, these are mere names that you and your no forefathers problem. No, have no. made up. So Allah don't agree Without with the names. Allah don't agree with the names, but they are real. Yeah, but we know, we know. So are, yes, are they the time, real? Are they real? Or? But we know that they believed in idols. Well, you must believe in idols anyway. No, we don't believe in idols. Okay, let me ask you. Is al is exist? As an idol, yes. No, as a as a living being. Okay, that's also an idol. No, living being are idols. If people believe that I am God, then I am a, uh, then I am for them an idol. So, is the daughter of Allah exist? Allah doesn't have a, a daughter. Did your prophet? People, uh, did, did your prophet? People kill, actually. Did your people prophet, actually? Put, uh, people actually attribute uh, sons and daughters to Allah. Did your prophet? That kill, did Allah, your prophet? Killed, that is what Allah means. Did your prophet killed, kill, the daughter of Allah? The daughter of Allah. Uh huh. Allah. Allah doesn't have a daughter. So did Allah 
prophet order his man to go and kill the, his daughter, the, the daughter of Allah or not? I don't know. But you are a... So, uh, so what do you mean? So what do you mean? You don't know. Listen, you are a specialist in, uh, in the Quran. No, yes. I'm asking I you. I'm asking you. Yeah, now. listen. Do you know or I'm, you don't? I'm, I'm very, listen, I'm very... I'm, I'm uh, very uh, Okay, so now is did, did your prophet kill the daughters of Allah? Yes or no? The idols. No, you cannot kill an idol, you can destroy an idol. Yeah, he destroyed idols in Mecca. All right, I'm talking about killing, killing, not destroying as a, a, a rock. I'm you talking do. about, I'm talking about killing Al Uzza. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I never heard about it. You remember, you are the one who asked me to come to this uh, chapter. Yes. And now you are saying to me, I do not know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. But you are a specialist in uh, in the Quran. Can I give you a? Uh, but uh, you one, said, uh, but you said to me, I lied. I didn't say that. Yeah, you said you miss uh, uh, you deceived. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's the same as mine. I, nope. said to you, I said to you, I said to you, you understand uh, it's a, a false claim that he has because Allah says. When you say false claim, you are saying I'm lying. Yeah, false claim. Uh, okay, maybe here we you go. I got you, Pastor, wherever first. you go. So now, did your prophet kill Al Uzza, the daughter of Allah, yes or no? I don't know. Huh? If I know, I would say yes or no. No, uh, you should know. Either Al Uzza I, is I someone. Is either Al Uzza is exist or it's not? Is it exist? Maybe they maybe they would uh, they exist uh, like uh, like stones uh, like you know what I mean? No, we are not talking about a stone. We are talking about a real person, a human being, a woman. She was killed, and Muhammad he says, "This is Al Uzza." Yeah, maybe it's a uh, people uh, worship there. Yes. I understand. No, it. she is Al Uzza, not just worship her. She is a specific person. This is Al Uzza, the daughter the of Allah. What was the reason? And what was his reason? Muhammad, he sent Kharid to kill Al Uzza. Kharid, he went, he destroyed a house, he cut the trees, he came back. Your prophet said to him, You did not finish yet, go back. He went back, and then a woman, he saw a woman there. And then, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he cut her head and then he came back to Muhammad. He told him, Muhammad, he said, well, that is Al-Uzza. That is Al-Uzza. Can you give me the hadith of this? All right. A Sahih hadith. No problem. Here we go. This is Sahih hadith. All right, let us see. All right. You, you remember, you gave me a website yourself and you said you believe in this website, right? Quran.com. This is the website you gave me yourself. I just took the first one. Yeah, you gave me a website yourself. So don't tell me now you don't accept it. Did you give me no, this I website? I just did the translation, yes. Okay. This is the chapter of An-Najm, the same chapter. And this is Ibn Kathir. You see it? And now we will go and we will Can see you send that me the link? Here we go. This is the link here. Uh, guys, post it please in Rumble and YouTube if you don't mind. And then, uh, let us see here. <clears throat> This is your prophet. He sent Khalid 
to kill, as you see here. So he sent Kharid <coughs> to kill Uzza. When the Messenger of Allah, has, do, you, do you see the screen? Mm -hmm. All right. Let us make it big. <coughs> okay, he conquered Mecca. He sent Khalid al Warid to the area of Nakhla where the idol of Al Uzza was erected. Uh, uh, erected on these three uh, trees of forest. Khalid cut the three uh, uh, trees and approached the house built around it and destroyed it. When he went back, the prophet, uh, he, the prophet, he informed him of the story, what he did. The prophet said to him, Go back, you did not do anything yet. You did not finish. Khalid, he went back and when uh, uh, when he arrived there again, the servant of Al-Uzza, they saw him and they started screaming, invoking by calling Al-Uzza. And when Al-Khalid, he approached it, he found a naked woman whose hair was untidy and was throwing sand on her head. Khalid killed her with his sword and he went back to the Messenger of Allah, who said to him, Tilka Al-Uzza. That was Al Uzza. Do you see it? So is Al Uzza the daughter of Allah is real or fake? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm reading. Uh-huh. Okay, go further. What further? Go further down. You can go. He will go and read whatever you want. Did did he I'm kill Al Uzza? Did he kill Al Uzza? The rest of the story is just additional information. Focus with me. Did no, he I kill? Want to know the did he Why kill? He did he kill Al Uzza? Did your prophet yeah, say to, to him that is Al Uzza? Yes. Okay. I want to so know. So is Al Uzza? Is Al Uzza a real daughter of Allah or it's not exist? Yes, it is a name that exists, yes. So Allah have three daughters. That's no, that's not true. What do you mean no, guys? If, if are you saying your prophet he lie? If listen, if the uh, Uzza, yes, wait, wait, wait. The Al Uzza. That was in the time of Ibrahim alayhi <laughs> salam. Abdul, don't go around. You can laugh. Is Al Uzza a laugh. real person or you it's not? Laugh. You're you a prophet. Listen, you can when, you, when you're a prophet, he says, This is Al Uzza. Did he lie? Yeah. He lied? Yeah, that is a name. No. Uh, do you know? No, no, that's not do a you name. Know There's only, you see, listen, Al Uzza, which means God Uzza. Al Uzza means God no, Uzza. No, no, no. So the God it's Uzza, someone, listen. Someone who called someone who she called is a woman. She is a woman. Yeah, it is a woman. The story says that the servants, listen, the servant of Al Uzza start invoking her. Read, read, potato. It says here, the servant of the Al Uzza, when the servant they saw Khalid, they start invoking her by calling Al Uzza. So now when he approached, he found a naked woman. Whose hair was untidy. This is Uzza. Yes. Okay. So is that did Muhammad kill Al Uzza or he did not? Wait, uh the questions were also it's, it's yeah, that was either yes. you either you agree so, that your prophet is a fraud liar, this is not the Al Uzza, and Al Uzza does not exist, or you agree. That al is exist, and then your God is a stupid religion. Your religion is a stupid religion. Allah have three daughters. It's proven. Here we go. This is al is real. No, no. Go down. Go down. Go down. What go down? The, the rest of information about the other uh, the other daughters. Allah, they are saying to you, Allah belong to that uh, tribe of Thaqif and at, uh, in the area of at taif etc. That's it. And then Allah. And its servant, as says the Prophet sent and Mughira uh, and Abu Sufyan, blah, 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 
to destroy a lot and they carried out the prophet command built a masjid but the only one here we see they killed al uzza as a woman in the story here in ibn kathir it was al uzza that is al uzza who the naked women I'm surprised that your prophet did not have sex with this naked woman, Al Uzza, the daughter of Allah. Your prophet, he have sex with anything is moving or dead. Did he sleep with the in the in the grave with Fatima, the mother of Ali? And the excuse uh, is because you want to make the grave easy on her? Was she beautiful and young, as that says in the stories? That she is young and beautiful, and Muhammad, he took off his clothes and lay down with her, and he covered himself. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask tomorrow uh, the context about this. Guys, this guy, he insisted he want to take me here. And when we come here, he don't want to be here tomorrow. <laughs> I told you, don't go there. You must never take my advice. Take it, take it now. So now, al uzza uh, we go back to the first question. Why Allah is saying this is unjust distribution? Are we dividing hummus? What is he talking about? But uh, the, the surah is about, uh, about the time of Ibrahim alayhi salam. What time of Ibrahim? This is in time of Muhammad. What Ibrahim? What, where is Ibrahim here? Where is Ibrahim here? Where is Ibrahim? What are you talking about? What Ibrahim? Right. What Ibrahim? Okay. You're a prophet. He worships stars. And this is a story where Allah, he's, you know, he swear by the stars. And then the cousin of Muhammad, he said to Muhammad, I don't believe in Allah. He said to him, aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog to eat you? Is that true that Allah have a dog? Malik? Yes, I'm, I'm reading. Is right. it true? Is it true that Allah, he have a dog? I don't know. No, no. What do you mean? Know? What do you mean you don't know? You wanna play? You wanna play like you don't know anything now? Yeah, you uh, ask very uh, deep questions. I don't know. Are right, those deep? I just asked you about the dog. I don't know what 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 is deep about it. Do I love a dog? Of course not. What if I show you that Allah have a dog? What if? What if Allah have a dog? If he has it, then he has a dog. But isn't you last time you What's spoke that? to me, you said to me dogs are dirty? No, I never said yes, that. Yes, you said that I to me. I said to you why dogs don't enter a house, have dogs in it. You forgot? You have short memory? Yeah. Here we no, go. I know what I said. Here we go. This is the cousin of Muhammad was making fun of the God of Muhammad. He don't want to worship the, the, the God of the stars, the pagan God. So your prophet, he said to him, aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog to eat you? And according to the story, this dog have a voice, have a sound of a lion. Is that true? He's a dog, but have a voice of a lion? My Ibn Abi Layyab said, I disbelieved in the Lord of the Star, so the Messenger of God may God's prayers and peace be upon him said, Are you not afraid that the dog of God will eat you? He said, So he went out on trade to Yemen. And while they were getting married, he heard the voice of the lion, and he said to his companions, I am it was eaten, so they stared at it. He hit their palms and they fell asleep. Then he came and took it, but they only heard his voice. So the Allah have a dog?
I thought dogs are dirty in Islam. It turned to be Allah himself have a dog. Are you there, Malik? Malik is buying food for dog uh, online. Because the dog of Allah can eat him too. Uh, Malik, do you think the dog of Allah will come and eat me? Other story here. True story, by the way. This is all true stories. Muhammad never lie. Neither the Muslims. On the authority of Qatada, the Prophet may God's prayers and peace be upon him recited by the star when it descends, and Ibn Abi Layyab said, I think it is. He said, His name is Atba. I disbelieved in the Lord of the star, so the Prophet may God's prayers and peace be upon him said, Be careful not to be eaten by the dog of God. He said, he struck his head and said, Ibn Tawas said on the authority of his father that the Prophet may God bless him and grant him peace said, Aren't you afraid that God will let his dog control you? Eat you, not control you. So what do you think the dog of Allah will eat you? What do you know what the the, the what kind of dog Allah you have? Any Muslim would like to help us? What kind of dog Allah you have? I heard that he have Chihuahua. Is that true? Because from the description of this dog, it must be aggressive and very big. You know? So I am assuming that this is a very tough dog. Malik, what happened to you? Are you did the dog of Allah eat you? Malik is gone. Okay, bye bye, Malik. Remember, he is the one who insists when I talk about this topic. And he keeps saying to me, Are you afraid to talk about it? He is the one who keeps saying to me, Are you afraid to talk about it? Why are you trying not to talk about it? Your God Allah will send his dog to eat the guy and he ate him, really? Yum yum? Man. Is he going to send Netanyahu a dog to eat him too? Oh. Mm. The God of the Chihuahua. Do we have any Abdul from the Chihuahua God religion? I mean, name for me, one thing in this stupid cult is not a stupid. Endless penis, women, her, you know, you see her, the, the marrow of her bones. I mean, don't tell the Chihuahua to that, you convert to Islam. If this Chihuahua, he, he see this picture, you know, the one we showed you previously, uh, this, this Chihuahua will go crazy. Hey, Chihuahua, what's wrong? Chihuahua, behave yourself. Why you are touching yourself? Chihuahua, you turn to a wolf. The second you see this, what happened to you? Look at this Chihuahua became a wolf. Look, what the heck? He become husky. You know? He Muslims, what's up with your God? I mean, he is very creative God. Allah have a dog, his dog will eat you with a women's skin. Allah will take him 1,000 years to soften the skin. I mean, your God, Allah, never heard of Vaseline? Go to any pharmacy, they will give you a product. In 10 minutes, will make the women's skin smooth like a baby. These days, they have in the internet everything like fake eyelashes, fake breast, fake butt. <laughs> Fake penis, <laughs> fake prophet Muhammad, fake promises. <laughs> I'm really convinced. I'm con I'm converting to Islam. That's it. Look at this beautiful. Look, and Allah have a dog. Everything we want is there. The Chihuahua, 
this the 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 jellyfish women all my life i wanted to have sex with jellyfish hey jelly how are you doing what what zucker neck is calling no way don't put him in hold quit the breath first of all this is not a jellyfish hey zucker neck don't shout at me there's no need to use capital letters i'm just Reading what it says there, and this is the picture. Get a friend. First of all, this is not a dear woman. This is a dear woman. This is a human. Hey, hold on. If she is a human, so how Allah is going to have sex with them too? Get a friend. First of all, Allah will have sex with the woman who the other the human. A second ago, you told me this is a woman, a human. Now you are saying to me, you will have sex with the women who the other human. How you call them women and they are not a human? Women mean a human. Get a friend. You are stupid. In English, women that mean a human. Oh. Okay, in English, women make chihuahua? What, what, what it means to be a woman? Christian first of all, in America, the Democratic Party, and then now they not know what women. So don't ask that question, because simply YouTube will censor you. you can shut up into YouTube, but YouTube Democrat, I don't care. All of you are a bunch of garbage. So listen to me carefully. If the Democrat do not know what is women, we Christian, we know what is a woman. You're, the woman is your mama, you idiot. Christian Brent, first of all, don't insert my mama. My mama is not a woman. My mama is a man. What? <laughs> you got a point there, Zakura. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul? Look at this beautiful beauty, the promise of Allah. This is my beautiful wife in heaven. How I can resist that? It's hard to resist. Look at this. Look at this possession. Look, possession after possession. Look how she is looking at you. So cute. Any Abdul? Who's next? And Malik was so sure, Christian Prince, why you are trying to run away from the topic about the daughters of Allah. I said to him, listen, Abdul, let us finish this one. Come on, you know. No, 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 you are afraid. You are afraid. Abdul, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> all right, all right. Oh boy. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul would like to join us? Maybe, maybe. Huh? Any Abdul would like to join us? Nobody? All right, we will not keep you long here. Just to show you how stupid Islam is, English penis, women, they look like stupid jellyfish. And uh, and by the way, all the women in heaven, according to Muhammad, they will look the same. All of them. They have one, what face? I mean, what face? Look at them. Muhammad, he said they have the same look. Look at them. They have the same age, the same height, the same voice, the same talk, the same word, the same, they sing the same song. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. Hey Muslims, can we change the color of those women? But what will make them blue? Like why did Allah don't install some LED inside and give us app in the phone we can change the color of their flesh? Imagine if we have LED inside them. Like orange, blue, uh, you know, like we put a Christmas light inside them. Huh? That would be fun. Like you sit in a dark room and your wife, she is, I mean, by the way, she is wearing 70 dress. Still, you can see through the marrow of her bones. So what the point of those dress or dresses? 70 dresses and still we see this? So she's wearing what? 70 dresses of air? I mean, even Kamala Harris did not say that. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Hello? Guys, if there is anyone work in uh, making apps, maybe we can contact Allah. I, you know, I speak Arabic. I am an Arab. I can contact him. 
and maybe he can mo make some adjustment you know like we like to put uh, some LED uh, AI you know in their butt because this why in English they say smart ass I always thought about it like I'm learning English I came to America I don't speak good English and they say this guy is a smart ass and I try this English is weird are they making fun of the guy is he is are they praising him are they insulting what they are talking about ass and smart what is the connection but then when I learned about Prophet Muhammad I learned what a smart ass mean he's a smart asshole uh, sorry, I, don't, I should not say that. He's a smart a-hole. Any Abdul? Who can beat that? Any Muhammadan? This is my beautiful wife in the heaven. So good, man. <laughs> Who's going to look at those women in this earth? <laughs> they look so, so bad. Look at this beauty. That's so deep, man. Look at this one. Look, look. Oh, boy. Look at this one. Her legs is up, too. Oh, boy. What are you doing? And her hands is open. That's not good. Look at this, Bozasan. I hope YouTube will not censor our channel and they claim that this is Andrew Tate business online. Andrew Tate, he is going to be jealous from a Christian prince. He will go and say Christian prince trying to compete with me. He opened a pimp house porn uh, uh, camera in uh, YouTube. Uh, by the way, if you are interested, the $300 and we can teach you how to be a pimp. I mean the word of stupidity and they pay him they pay him $300 to learn how to be a pimp can you believe it trash any Abdul actually I noticed since I start showing this women like all those women they don't like themselves they hate themselves I heard that all the women who come here they start breaking breaking their mirrors when they see this beauty they said, I cannot look at the mirror no more. They are desperate now. Who is a woman here? She feels desperate after she saw those pictures. Give me one. It's okay. It's okay. I understand your situation. Your situation is very complicated and we can help you. First of all, you convert to Islam. You die. You go to heaven. Allah will make you like this. It's easy. It's easy. Don't worry. We have solution for everybody. Well, Prophet Muhammad have solution for everybody. Islam not only a religion, Islam is a jelly style, <laughs> jellyfish style. <laughs> Abdul, is that the zombie heaven? What is this? You lay down in the bedroom and then those zombies, they will come to you and jump on you? Seriously. What? You thought in Germany you shutting down most? They are not shutting nothing. I mean, guys, you make a big issue of nothing. This is just about Hezbollah, you know, just uh, but shutting down. But they, they invited two million, three million Muslims, and they are shutting down most. Germany is a, is a Germany is always an antichrist country and always will be. They are the one who made the cannon for the Turkish to invade our city beloved city, the city of Constantine, the king. Germany right now is arming Turkey. They are building submarine for them. Germany invite millions of Muslims and you are happy because they close the centers for Hezbollah? Good luck with that. Stupid German. Do we have any Abdul? Like when you hear the news in the closing mosque. What mosque? They did not close anything. All of this, they arrested seven people. And there is a center sponsored by Iran. You know, what about the closing all the centers of Erdogan, the centers of Iraq, the centers of uh, Qatar? What about Qatar? <laughs> all of them, they are terrorists. 
potatoes. I believe that the one who made this issue happen, mostly it's the money of Imarat. Imarat is against Hezbollah and Muslim Brotherhood. They pay them money. They say to them, do this, do that, and billions will come. And Qatar now, I saw it in the news, they are sending 5,000 policemen to Paris. So now you work in Paris, a scumbag police terrorist from Qatar, he will arrest you legally. What the uh, closing mall squad? This is Europe, doomed. Doomed potatoes. You will be punished for your crimes. Naked women in the beach, flags of rainbows everywhere. You will be punished. Just wait. The woke culture will destroy you. If Malik, you are back. What Malik? Did you find the dog of Allah? What happened, Malik? Did you find the dog of Allah? Uh, hey. What? Did you find the no, dog no. of Allah? Uh, no, I was, uh, I'm working. Huh? I have a night shift. Oh, yeah. This is what happened when you make a Muslim work at night or at daytime. He go to the internet to chat. Get out of here. You see, they are very decent people. You pay them salary. This guy is getting paid. Supposedly now he's working. And what he do is in the internet chatting. Muslims, cheaters like their God. Zero ethic. Do we have any Abdul? All right, I'm not going to keep you long, guys. I am uh, because I'm single. And when I see those images, I get really too much tempted. Uh, I hope... Uh, uh, I will be able to wake up in the morning because this is too much for me. It's too, tempt too much temptation and I'm being tempted now. Uh, like, listen, listen. Tum, 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 tum. This is my heart. See? Tum, 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 ta, tum, 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 ta, tum, 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 tum. My heart is beating so heavy, man. You know, this is my heart. What about... <coughs> I mean, my nose. huh? So, like, come on. This is, uh, you know, this is uh, what every uh, human being... Uh, I don't know, human being. I mean, those Americans, this English is weird. You know, like Bean. Bean is the one make you fart. Mr. Bean, the one who make you laugh. And a human being is the one who would come with a prophet like Muhammad. That's messed up. Look like everything is attached to being is messed up. Oh boy. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, you know. Human being. Mr. Bean. This is women being. This is this is butt being. Her legs is being up. Her hands is being open. You can put bean everywhere. You know, and you, you eat American bean, you fart. You Mohammedan, your religion make me fart non-stop. Fourteen, the fourteen religion. By the way, Prophet Muhammad is the last of the fourteen prophet. In fact, if you go right now, just to show you, I'm not making things up. If I go right now to the hadith here, the page, and I will not type in Arabic, I will type in English, the word fart. Shall we? Fart. Look at this. This is a religion full of gas. Everybody is gassing out. Now we know why Qatar have a lot of gas. All of this, your prophet talking about 14? Prophet 14? That's deep. Oh boy. Uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, by the way, he found some, some discoveries about uh, geology. 
So he said to his followers, you know those uh, Muslims, they used to find uh, like a hole in the ground, it may be for a rat or something, you know, and they piss on it. The prophet, he forbid them. He says, this is the house of genie. Don't piss there. How Prophet Muhammad he knew this? That genie, he lived there. Same for the bones. Once Muhammad wanted to do poo poo, his companion, they brought him a piece of bones to touch his anus with it. The prophet, he says to him, don't you know that this is the food of the genie? And Allah, he covered it by meat for them each time they eat from it. Wow, that's deep. Prophet Muhammad is involved in every knowledge. You know? Farting, shitting, urinating, shitting, shantine, you know? A prophet, can you prophesy for us if uh, Kamala Harris will become a president? Because that will be a shitty time. You know? Yeah, that will be the, 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 the biggest shit to cover this country ever. Oh boy. All of this is about fart. That's deep. You know? It's amazing, it's amazing. This is, this is a true religion. Not like those uh, Christianity, you know, <laughs> you know, boring. Like Jesus, you know, like died for hours. What? This is here. Fart, shit, uh, penis, uh, vagina, uh, you know, jellyfish. This is exciting here, you know? Those Christians, what they have? They have nothing. Then. Like, not only don't have anything, you know, they don't have even like a, a, a sense of, of hammer. Do those Christians have sense of hammer? They say in English a humor, but in fact, a sense of hammer. Because this religion hammer you with the stupidity. <laughs> uh, as an example, not limited, the science of a prophet Muhammad, like he said, When you give the adhan, the shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, Lahu durat. You know what durat is? No, no. Durat is. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> he runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu <laughs> durat. I'm not making this a hadith. It's a hadith. So you, that shaitan made me do sin? Ah, oh, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan, right? That shaitan, you're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Hey Muslims, am I causing your prophet and his God serious leak in their bum? It's just a question, let me know. Serious gas. So you know, you're going to the toilet, you know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah... Look, even when you want to enter the bathroom, there's a prayer for that. Yeah, dangerous, dangerous zone. This is a very risky zone. In fact, this is the most dangerous place for Muslims. This is where the Muslim is weak. Here, where shaitan can take advantage of them because he live in the twelfth seat. I just showed you, Muhammad says, don't piss in the hole. So Muslims, the prophet says, don't piss in the hole. Why are you pissing in the hole in this way? <laughs> Stupid people. So now you enter the bathroom, you have to say a certain prayer. Otherwise, what will happen to you? Seriously injured. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot... You left foot, remember. Right foot, you're in trouble. You have to enter with the left foot. I'm serious. You enter with the left foot, and you say the prayer. What will happen? Brother, tell them. You went in, you get a reward for that. The dua... You get reward right away. The bank account. Hello? Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. $50 because he just entered with the left foot. And $50 because he said the prayer. Okay, brother. Thank you very much. $50 reward because he entered the bank. Man, I will make a lot of money if I do. I, you know, I can't do shit all day. <laughs> oh, what I need to do? Read Quran and the, and the poop will come immediately. They are here. Brother, really seriously, we enter with the bathroom and reward will come? That's a good one. In, you get a reward for that. The dua you said, Shaitan will not see you. You're in the. I did that with the bank. 
I entered the bank. I said the prayer. Enter with the left foot. The security guard cannot take me. I took the money. I left. No, until now they don't know. Brother, true story. Just enter with the left foot, huh? And say the dua, and then nobody can see you. You become invisible. Actually, in fact, hold on, hold on. Just to teach you a trick. If you want to sneak out of the house, like today is a Friday night, and you want to go and see your friends and your wife, she will not allow you. Just say what the prayer is and exit with the left foot. Nobody can see you. Yeah, your wife, she will see the door open and closed, but she will not see you. She will get scared even to go to the door again because it must be something scary, you know? So just do it. It work, it work, it work. And look how serious he is. Uh, the dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, if you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmidi says he plays with your bowels. I told you how Islam is so beneficial to your anus. The first benefit for you is your anus, protected. You convert to Islam, you learn the prayer, you enter with the left foot in the bathroom. Your bowels is insured. Shaitan cannot even see your bowels now. But if you don't say this prayer, Shaitan will go inside your anus. And what he will do? You cannot believe it. He will bring all the tools from the garage. Screwdriver, blade driver. I mean, you name it, a drill. Especially these days, we have electric uh, tools, you know? Oh, boy. And what is more scary, I heard that Shaitan, he likes spicy food. So imagine he put fingers on those spice and then he play with your bows with the spicy fingers. That is torture. Right, but the hadith of Tidmidi says he plays with your bowels. He plays with your bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're gonna be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. <laughs> You know why? Because I'm going to shake ooh, ooh, la la. <laughs> See, the hadith told you. The hadith, the hadith, the hadith. why well, you are laughing? The prophet says so. He's telling them when he said the hadith, because those kids are laughing, you know, he's speaking in the mosque, and he want to make them be sure this is serious. Hadith, hadith says all the music. Muhammad said, and that's not me. The hadith says, this is amazing, brother. Prophet Muhammad uh, special with bows, you know, like anus, fart, penis, vagina, clitoris. I mean, this guy is so good. Do we have any Abdul? Who is Abdul? When I, you know, the Christian, like somebody left Islam, want to give us testimony about how he saw Jesus in a dream or a vision. I want the Muslim to come and give us his testimony about shaitan playing with his anus because once he forgot to enter the bathroom with the left foot and he forgot to say the prayer. I want anyone to tell us his testimony, testament, testimony, how shaitan he played with his anus to prove that this is story it's happening to you Muslims. Who want to do that? Who is a Muslim want to share his testimony about shaitan playing with his bowels? We want to document this for our children in the future. True story. Any Abdul? Any Abdul would like to tell us a true story, like what happened to his anus? Nobody? Chris and Prince, first of all, this is story true. Okay, Zachar Naik, first of all, you are so skinny and you don't even have an anus. All of you together is not even an anus. Good friends, I'm going to sue you for definition. Good definition, what are you talking about? I mean, you are so skinny, we are talking about somebody have an anus. Do you have an anus? Do you? Prove it. Good friends, first of all, you are asking someone in their age to strip and throw in the private parts. Zachar Naik, you are 60 years old and their age. Exactly, because people like me make it three, we are under age. Oh, okay, I get you. All right. So, as I can do you know someone is not under age because Aisha, she was mature at the age of six, but you are not at the age of 60. Ah, so now, do you have anyone can tell us his testimony 
about how shaitan play with your anus Muslims? Who's going? Why you don't write a book about it? Who is a Muslim going to witness to Muhammad that his story is true? That shaitan, he play with your bows if you don't pray to Allah and you don't enter with the left foot. Anyone? Any two? Any three? Sold. I mean, Muslims, are we doing auction here? I'm serious. At least one of you have experienced this. Either his story, your prophet is a liar, or this his story is true. Which one? <clears throat> Anyone? Hmm. All right, all right. Well, today we don't have too many viewers. I don't know why. Uh, maybe Friday. I don't know. People watching. There is. I thought if I play horn, I would bring more people to watch us. What happened? This is unusual. We show those beautiful pictures and still not many people here. What? Unbelievable. Be people become so ethical. I think Andrew Tits now his business will shut down. He's very ethical. Any Abdul? Anyone? It is Friday, 2.44 a.m. My friend, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with you. Oh, what you need to do, go to your phone, change the time, zone, that's it. Make it 7 a.m. in the morning, you will feel better. Very, very easy. Prophet Muhammad, he changed time. Right? Uh... I I I I wanna print a sticker in the door of my bathroom, like next to the handle of the door. It says, "Don't forget your left foot first. And then under the sticker says the prayer. For safety, you know, you don't want anyone to play with your bows. Unless you are a gay. That then you would love it. I assure you, those gays they will never pray this prayer. <coughs> Yeah, Abdul, this is a true story, huh? Hmm? Hmm. It is Thursday? Yes, yeah, Thursday here. It's the Friday for them there. A lot of people here, they are from the Orang, Orang country. Uh, Indonesia. By the way, in Indonesia, there's a orang, orang, Indonesian. Unbelievable. You go to Indonesia, everybody's Indonesian. I'm serious. You go to Europe, there's no European. <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> you go to Germany, there's no German. You go to China, everybody's Chinese. You go to Indonesia, everybody is Indonesian. You go to Germany, there's no German. Potatoes, European. Stupidity is amazing. Any Abdul? <clears throat> it's a Friday night. Yeah, the bend. We can change time for you. If you enter the bathroom without the prayer, trust me. You will jump three months from pain, not only three hours. You enter without the left foot. You, you know, you heard what would happen to you. I mean, I'm serious. You know, you have to be careful. You see, I'm here just doing a delivery to you to warn you about what will happen to you. You want to believe it, you believe it. You don't want to believe it, eh, it's up to you. He not only runs, <coughs> but the hadith says, Lahu durat. You know what durat is? Durat is. He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. 
lahu durat. I'm not making this a hadith. So you, that shaitan made me do sin. Do you notice that the Muslim, they put in the background, like supposed to what is so called the music. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So this is a holy shit. I mean, we are talking about supporting the artist or any, like any, uh, hmm, 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 like the Buddhist, you know, like hmm, you go in the temple of the Buddhist, you feel like there's a, like a thousand bees there. Mm. And you know, like I say to myself, thank God I'm not Buddhist. Mm. I feel like a bee. You know, and now they would do some music in the background supporting because that will make it holy. But we are talking about shit and fart. That is a holy shit, isn't it? Lahu Durat, I'm not making this a hadith. So you, that shaitan made me do sin? Ah, oh, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan, right? That shaitan, you're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Serious gas. So you know, you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabaith. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, if you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmidi says he plays with your bowels. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. Now we have a proof evidence that Muslim, it takes them 40 minutes to do shit. You just heard him. 20 minutes and you think you are done, but you are not even halfway. So a Muslim, an average Muslim, taking 40 minutes in the bathroom. For what reason? Because shaitan, he play, play with his bowels. Science, document, numbers, you know, mathematics, doesn't lie. All of this is documented now. Do we have any Muslim? Wanna tell us his experience about once he entered the bathroom without the prayer? Huh? 40 minutes in the bathroom, shaitan playing with your anus, you idiot? And you claim you are not a gay? 40 minutes and you are not a gay? 40 minutes? Not 20 minutes, 40. What shaitan he did in the 40 minute to your anus? How many 40, I mean, boom, boom, he did to you? What he put there? Any Muslim want to help us? What's up with Islam? Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. He fart when you pray. He piss in your ears. When you have sex, you have to say a prayer, otherwise he will round himself around your penis like a condom, and he will be doing your wife. And then shaitan, the, the children, will be the children of shaitan. I mean, shaitan is all over the holes of the Muslims. His penis, his anus, his nose, his toes, his, uh, you know, what amazing, so beautiful. Any Abdul? These days we are short of Abdul, we don't have any. Hmm? If there is anyone who would not invite me to, to, to make a speech about Fartin religion? If you like me to make a seminar about Fartin, uh, you know, you can go to our website www.islamforfart.allah.com Holy poop that uh, play with the bows that uh, come C U A M because all of this fit with Islam, you know. Any Abdul? Nobody. Yeah, it's so dry. The only one we have is Malik. Dr. Malik, he is working and he cheat. Oh boy. All right, we are not going to give you 
as long as we don't have too many. We will see how many of you guys, you, you, you're not sharing the link with everybody. I mean, we have a low view these days. I don't know why, with reason. But uh, if you want me to come back, well, at least, uh, you know, share it. Let us, more people join, listen, watch. So I can see that people, they learn. Before we speak about, the, I promise you that if you share it good, and we have good view, I will not talk about fart or shit in the coming video. Neither about sex. We will talk about effing. We will upgrade. Because Prophet Muhammad is the best in effing. No one in the world, according to Muslim books, he can eff like Prophet Muhammad. He's an effing prophet. Even Aisha, she said, who of you control his penises like Prophet? He have many penises. She said, Irabahu. The guy don't even have one penis. He have many. Like, you know, I have many magazines for my guns. But, I mean, this is normal. But having many penises, how Aisha, she said, not only that, Aisha, she said, who of you have penises like the Prophet? How she knew? She is virgin, supposedly. Oops. How she can compare? That's amazing. It's like the guy who said that to his friend, uh, my 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 fans say is virgin, and uh, he said sure. He said I swear by Allah she's a virgin. He said sure. He said I'm telling you she's a virgin, man. She said how you know? She, he said, when I entered the first night to the bedroom with her, she swear by Allah, she never saw a penis like this before. <laughs> that says Aisha. She saw too many. So excuse me, this is the one, this is what happened when you speak about Muhammad, vagina, penises, shit, fart, trash and then they say to you he is the best of mankind and when we challenge muslims about that they don't dare to come and debate us they go to those na naive you know western who have no idea you know prophet muhammad free palestine a bunch of idiots free palestine even the quran says this is the end of the jews even the stupid quran says this is allah he command the jews to kill all those who live there chapter 5 verse 21 Anyway, anyway, what we can do. You know what? Uh, I, I found a way to make uh, Camilla Harris a drop. I will send her a picture of her future. She will drop dead. <laughs> I will send her this picture. She opened the envelope. She see this. She dropped dead. We got rid of her. The same what happened to Biden. convert to Islam before it's late otherwise you will not be so beautiful like that anyone he will see this he will drop dead how many of you dropped dead already many of you are dropping dead already but you are afraid to save the truth the truth hurt that Santa Claus is real and Muhammad is not Last call, any Abdul? Anyone? All right, uh, SD, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Well, they can watch the video if they can join us. But anyway, I'm, uh, because I'm watching these days, this for the last week, somebody told me because they have an Olympic in France, whatever games, People are watching, no problem. Uh, so maybe we'll slow down a little bit in making videos. But if you share, we will come back faster. Requesting you to do stream with Adam Seeker. I don't stream with other people, my friend. I don't work with others. I don't like to work with others. With my love and respect to everybody. I'm a one-man army. I don't like those uh, kind of... Uh, Two Christians, you know. No, I don't do that, you know. It's not my style. 
Don't you notice? I got invitation from everybody. And I reject everybody. They can do their work by their own. I do my work in the way I like. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, you cannot have too many chief in the kitchen. Same time, uh, many uh, Christians who speak about Islam without mentioning names, they make a lot of mistakes. And they don't want to embarrass them when they are talking, say, no, you are wrong. You know, because then people will say, oh, he is trying to show off that he knew way more than them. You know, so let them do. I correct them from behind the scene. Uh, I never saw anything now. Anyone who speak about Islam, he don't make horrible mistakes sometime. Like until now, we keep saying to them, don't say Islam, as an example, not limited. Don't say Islam means submission. Do you keep saying that? It doesn't matter how many times you tell them. So if I am with you now, and you say Islam means submission, and then I need to say, step up and say, oh, this is not true. That will not be nice. It's not for their benefit. So I prefer not to associate with same time sometimes people they do stupid things without names again. I don't want to associate myself with people who do stupid things. Keep a distance. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well you don't like it to be alone? Well you don't now you don't like me you are doing alone? Should I invite the uh, uh, apostate prophet for you? And then he start eating the Quran? <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't like those kind of things, actually. You know, for me, I like to hit the head of the snake by showing evidence, reference. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, child, this stuff is not my way. Here we beat the hell of Muhammad by showing evidence. I do not need to eat the Quran. Why I want to eat it? I would drive them crazy reading it. Any Abdul? Huh? Yeah, you know, everybody have his own way. And sometimes always can work. Like, I mean, the, the trashy one need the trashy. Uh, the high, you know, like when a, when a Muslim, he called me, I speak to him, depend who he is. If he is rude, I wipe the floor with him. If he is, you know, trashy, I deal with him as he deserves. If he is nice, gentleman, I will be way more gentle than he is. So we need, you know, to treat people differently but only one person will not treat differently muhammad is a piece of garbage he's a he's a he's a rapist he's a pedophile he is a thief he is a criminal he is a killer he's a liar and everything wrong in this earth is him and we can prove it right and his god allah he have a dog it's a chihuahua and those are the women Allah will give us in heaven. You know, when I heard that Allah have a dog, I got scared. I said, man, does God have a dog? Do I have extra bones with me? That's serious. How Muhammad knew that Allah have a dog? Mean. No, no, guys, don't mention names. I don't want to be, don't mention J. Smith, uh, David Wood, anyone. I don't fit with any of those. Please don't mention those names. I don't fit. I don't fit. I will never even go with any of them. Why you mention their names? I support them. I ask people to go and subscribe to the channel. You heard me many times. But I cannot work with any people. I don't agree with many things they say.
There's tons of crazy stuff they say is not even true. They believe in theories and fictions and, you know. But I notice people like fictions. Fiction work. You know? If you wanna if you wanna defeat Islam, don't focus in fictions. Focus in what they believe. The Muslim believe in this, show him what he believe. And make him laugh at himself. Don't give him fictions. That Kaaba was in Petra and uh, etc. And you know, that will not change anything. It's like those atheists who say Jesus never exists. Christians will laugh at them. They will not even listen. So if you want the Muslim to listen to you and you want to defeat Islam, defeat him by what he believe, not your theory. Even if your theory, it might be true, but it's not going to be effective. It's useless. Those can be good for somebody who want to do academic study, check them out, go study uh, like uh, in, in, in ground, uh, check those buildings, uh, read alphabet, read languages, study languages, uh, you know, go to the roots. That's wonderful. But if we are talking about debating Muslims, you will not win an argument by saying that Muhammad never exists and Kaaba was in Petra and, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you best show them the stupidity in their books. Then you defeat Islam. The rest, nobody will listen. All right, this is my advice. But and you can do whatever you wish. Like when we show uh, uh, the Muslims what their books saying, can they deny? They cannot. Muhammad, he sent his man to kill Al-Uzza. Like what happened to Malik. If I give him theory, he will laugh at me. But now, I showed him from his books. He didn't know what to say. Right? And I hope that uh, in the future, we will have many new, uh, younger Christians. They will join the forest and they will learn, they will educate themselves. And I hope more those who speak Arabic, they will join too. Because speaking Arabic is extremely important. For Muslims, they deceive even, I mean, you speak Arabic and they say they don't know Arabic. Imagine there's Indonesian, they made videos saying Christian prince don't know Arabic. Can you believe it? <laughs> you don't know Arabic. <laughs> I don't know Arabic, I do not know English, I don't know what my language is. Christian Prince, first of all, you are Indonesian. I heard you many times, it's in Orang Orang. Exactly, exactly like I'm Indonesian. How you know, man? If there's any proof, any reference, Christian Prince, you said that you like rice. Uh, yeah, I like rice. Exactly. Because you like rice, you must be Indonesian. Yeah, hold on. I mean, uh, everybody eat rice. Christian Prince, Indonesian, they eat a lot of rice. And you think you eat a lot of rice? No, I said, I eat a lot of tomato. Exactly. In Indonesia, the word tomato means rice. Like, what the heck? The word tomato means rice? I don't know that. Christian Prince, I got you butted and I recorded you. <laughs> I mean, their best debater is Zach and Naik, a bunch of idiots. I mean, if this is the guy who want to teach you your religion, you idiots. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> and the funny people they ask me do you write those things stories before you go live no I just make them up right away <laughs> what write them down <laughs> oh boy <laughs> anyway uh, we better leave you in peace now it's time for us uh, to go and kill Al Uzza Al Uzza is naked she is naked You know what? If I am the one who Muhammad sent him to do that, I will forget what my mission is. You go there, you see Al-Uzza and she is naked. Oh boy. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Christian Prince? Hello? Uh, why, why you are staring at? Stop looking at my boobs! Uh, sorry, uh, Al-Uzza, those are boobs? Oops, oh sorry. I, I don't know. I, I never saw those before. <laughs> you are the goddess, you know? You have a special uh, features. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, naked? She's naked, huh? Oh, that's deep.
Why she is naked? Allah daughters don't have underwear? Man. Look, look at this story. She was naked. I want to go and kill Al-Uzza again. Maybe I can see her. Do you think Al-Uzza she is like she is from the nude beach? It looked like in Mecca, the Kaaba was a nude beach. You remember the Hadith says they go around the Kaaba totally naked? I mean, this is a nudity. Uh, it took the European, I don't know, 2,000 years to arrive to the nudity time. The Muslims, they are nude from that time. Very advanced people, you know, very advanced. All right, guys, I'm going to go and kill Uzzah, and I will let you know what will happen by tomorrow, maybe. So let us see how many of you we will have by tomorrow. If uh, good of you, I will come back. If not, eh, until we have good of you. So I wish you a good time. It is uh, Thursday today. And let us see if I will be able to come live on Friday, depending on how many of you we will have for this video. And to increase the video view, uh, we are going to promote it by sexual uh, internet, uh, internet uh, uh, technology. This is sexual technology. All right. We are going to have millions of a view by tomorrow. I bet you, you know, especially with this picture here, like what she is doing here. I mean, yeah, like, oh. And no, this is a lot of uh, sexual, sexual in. This is this is very. Look at this here, yeah. Huh? Why well, she is inside the closet? I think she is inside the closet, guys. I think she was cheating her husband, and she went inside the closet, and uh, the husband he have an X-ray uh, camera. He took picture for her. This is like a dark a night vision camera in the closet. She thought she is hidden. Nobody can see her. She went inside the closet and look what happened. Boom. You know, the camera like whoosh, night vision. Technology, technology. Yeah. So women who they are cheating their husband these days. And you got you busted. There's a camera in the closet. Huh? All right. All right. See ya. All right, guys. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And enter, we see you soon again. God is good. So is Jesus. And we have no mercy on the liar like Muhammad. They will never, we will never allow them to deceive our children and never compromise. Stay still, stand, fight against all lies. The walk. The, the garbage they teach your kids these days. Uh, uh, I want to advise you too, don't give your children phones. Be careful what they have. They never give them phones. Children should not have phones. Many stupid parents, they are giving their children phones. You are just destroying your kids. You have no idea what is in TikTok. I went there, I am a man. I was terrified for what I saw. Very sick, very disgusting, very filthy. Predator, all kind of pedophiles, all kind of garbage. Don't give your children's phones. If you do so, you are making a big, big mistake. Let your children grow like normal, healthy. They should be playing. They should be jumping, playing with dirt, or do anything like a child. But don't damage them with the internet. Let them grow normally. Everything take time. Take talk is time killing machine will destroy your son will destroy your daughter will destroy their mind don't let them in the internet alone and if you need to use the internet you have to be watching what they are seeing it's very dangerous i warn you and if a fool need advice the first advice is for the fool is to listen but how a fool will listen Never, because he think he's smart. So advising a fool is impossible. So I want to say thank you again. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean, and we are victorious in his name. See you.
Bye-bye.